Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'd like to cover another product that we got a sneak peek of during our trip out to CES 2018 in Las Vegas. It's from our friends over at Energen, and it's a product called Drone Max 360. Now, I've talked about a few of their products before. I have the M10 over here, which is a charger for your Mavic batteries, and I've got an A20 over here, which is a kind of a universal charger that'll charge your Mavic batteries out in the field a couple of times, as well as Phantom batteries, unique batteries, and a bunch of other stuff. And they've kind of evolved as a company. So the Drone Max 360 is really a blending of all these technologies together with a lot of other cool features in it. Now, we were lucky again to get an interview with Victor Wang, who's the head of that company when we were out at CES, and he goes through a lot of detail of what led up to the Drone Max 360 product development. I asked them a lot of hard questions because when I reviewed the M10, a lot of you guys asked me, well, what about my Spark? And now that the Mavic Air has been released, what about my Mavic Air? It'd be great if I had one charger that I could charge my Spark, my Mavic, and my Mavic Air batteries uh, using the same product. So I did spend some time asking him some hard questions around that. I think you'll be surprised by his answers. So let me run the clip now. I'll come back at the end and give you some of my impressions of what the product looks like. Now, I did bug him a lot when I was out there at the show to get my hands on one of those Drone Max 360s very early. I don't think they release until the end of February, but he assured me that there'll be one on its way the minute they get them in stock. So hopefully I'll have that product in my hands in about a week's time. I can tear into it and give you an actual hands-on review. But for now, let's take a look at the clip. Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. I'm at CES 2018 with my friend Victor Wang here, and we're going to talk about the Drone Max products. We have the brand new Drone Max yes. 360 right here in the booth, and this is the one that I did the preview clip on, and it does everything you're going to want to do in the field as far as remote charging goes. So why don't you give us a rundown on that, Victor? Sure, Rick. Thank you. Um, so this is a Drone Max 360. Uh, what it has is the two uh, direct charging ports for your drone batteries. Uh, so it charges the Mavic, charges the DJI Phantom 3, Phantom 4, unique drones as well. Uh, well, we added the two USB-A ports, um, which is right here on the top, and then the two USB Type-C ports for your newer phones, tablets, laptops, and things like that. There's also a 12 volt um, output here. Uh, we include a, an adapter for you, so for anything that you charge with a, a car charger, you can use the uh, the Drone Max to charge as well. Yep. What's really unique about the Drone Max 360 is if you turn it around, you see two AC um, outlet uh, ports out here. So it's uh, about 120 watt uh, AC and about 200 watt uh, peak. Mm -hmm. So uh, Great. really it's your uh, total power solution. Right. I see you have one grounded and one ungrounded outlet back there, so that's fine. Right. That works great. Spin it around one second. Sure now, one of the things that really impressed me about this when I was going through the specs on it is you have QC3 compatible ports on there as well. Yes. So the high speed charging is capable for those right. quick charge compatible devices. Uh, I had a lot of questions uh, about this connection over here, the 12 volt connection, because okay. it's just a standard pin connection. Right. But you're saying you're including an adapter that comes out to a standard cigarette lighter adapter, which means anything you can charge in a cigarette lighter adapter up to the current this can provide is fine. Absolutely. That's okay, correct. great. So that's an you ultimate can... versatility play right there. Yes. Yes, so for me, I was thinking hard on the flight out here, which was a long flight, of what I couldn't charge with this, and I couldn't come up with anything outside uh, of the current boundaries. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Either. I think you got it all covered. Right. The one wild card question, and I'm going to throw you a curveball here, sure. is a lot of my uh, subscribers have asked about the Spark. Why don't we have a connection for the Spark? Right. You do the Mavic, you do the Phantom, where's the Spark stuff? Right. But I understand you're working on something in that space. Yeah, actually, you, you told me about that concern from yes. your viewers. Uh, we've heard a lot of you talking about that. So what we're working on, our R&D team is working on, is a, uh, a charging cable that will charge the spark. Okay. Uh, it will come with a little bit of a, uh, a little box there so that we can get the voltage and the correct voltage and correct current sure. into the spark battery. Right, because so we all understand on. the spark is a different battery than the phantoms and the uniques. Right. So having that little step down, whatever magic in there, you'll have a little bump in the cable. Who cares? Right. Okay. If I can use this for my Mavic and my Phantom and my spark, mm -hmm. it's a home run. And it even still, I can use it for my Spark today as long as I use my Spark car charger adapter That's correct. with your dongle. Yes. So I've got everything covered. Yep. Now, in addition to this, you make a couple of other models. The other one that I like a lot, and I've reviewed it, mm -hmm. is the M10, which is the one that's specifically built for the Mavic. Yes. And that one I like because it's got the ability to charge up to uh, multiple Mavic batteries mm -hmm. and multiple times. Now, my that's testing right. in the field has shown me that even though you're conservative, and I love that about the company where right. you say two full charges, most of us fly our drones to about 30% right. and still have some juice left in them. I've found I've gotten four, in some cases, five charges out of that, Great. which is good. Yeah, right. so that's wonderful. Right. Um, the, other, the other claim that you made that I talked about on the channel an awful lot mm -hmm. was that you actually charge the batteries faster than the original chargers from the manufacturer, which I would, as an engineer, I looked at that and said, 
I got to check that out because that sure sounds like marketing. But I found that to be true as well. Great. And I found that on the low end, about 25% faster. On the high end, almost 40% faster. And that's because, and I've explained it on the channel, this can put out pure DC current right. at a higher current. And the batteries can handle that without being damaged. The chargers made by the manufacturers are less current because mm -hmm. they're smaller. They have to be portable. That's and if they made a bigger charger, it would charge faster. But that is absolutely true as well. Great. So fantastic products. Now, have you got a price on the 360 yet? Uh, yes, we do. The, the 360 is going to be retailed at $299. Uh, and it, again, it's map pricing. Everywhere you find it, it'll be at $299. Okay, that's great. And the M10, just to refresh their memory, the smaller one for the Mavic? It's at $129. $129. Yes. And again, I know a lot of people say, oh, they're so expensive, but Mavic batteries are $89. Yes. So $129, I can charge a whole lot more stuff than a Mavic battery. That's right. With this guy, at that price point, again, it's expensive, but I can charge Phantom batteries, unique batteries. It's yeah, everything right. I needed to do. It's like the Swiss Army knife of chargers. Yes, that's concerned. the idea. Okay, good. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for talking to us today. I love your company for so many different reasons. Primarily, it's because you spend a lot of time thinking like we think as flyers, and you listen to people's comments and suggestions, and you adapt the product to meet them. So thank right. you so much for that. Thank you so much, Ray. Very good. Good seeing you. Thank you. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. The Dromax 360 is an incredibly cool product, and from my perspective, Easily one of the most versatile, portable charging solutions on the market today that allows me to charge everything I bring along for an afternoon of flying. I was really appreciative that Victor spent that much time with us in the booth because he had a lot of people wanting to talk to him. And I threw him a couple of curveballs because a lot of you guys emailed me before the show and said, look, I want to buy the M10. I own a Mavic, but I also own a Spark. Why doesn't that thing charge a Spark? Or I own an A20 or this new 360. Is it going to charge my Spark product? So they thought about that, and they were actually in the middle of working on a cable that would convert these guys down to the correct voltage and current for the Spark so they could charge it. Now, the Mavic Air hadn't been released at that point, or I would have asked them about that as well, but I'm in constant email contact with him, so I did ask that question, and he was really honest. He said, look, we haven't gotten our Mavic Air yet. Those things are hot commodities, and we just haven't gotten one. And I said, well, I can help you with that. I have a couple. Let me send you a battery. Let me send you my charger. And you can use that and you can test against that and figure out what you need to do. So I just shipped those out yesterday. Hopefully that'll speed things up. Now, to be honest, I haven't gotten my hands on this thing yet. So he promised me that we're going to send me one of the models as soon as they came out. So I will do a full teardown and review of that thing just to give you a feel for my impression. But on the surface and what I saw in that booth, this thing really is like the Rosetta Stone of chargers. It's got everything you'd want. So in very basic form, it's got USB connections on the front, which are 2.4 amps, and they'll charge quick charge devices as well as standard USB devices, which is you know your phone, your tablet, your controller, or anything that you can charge through a USB connection. They've got cables included that'll charge Phantom batteries, Mavic batteries, Unique batteries. So they're building custom cables for your drone batteries that you can charge simultaneously with those other devices I mentioned. They built in a 12 volt universal connector on the front. And I asked them about that because I was thinking, that's just the pin connection. What kind of wonky cable do I need for all the other devices I'm gonna wanna charge? But they thought that through. So what that connection mates up with is a dongle that terminates in a standard 12 volt outlet like you'd have in your car. So pretty much anything you can plug a car charger into, at this point, you can charge off that battery bank, which really opens up a wide landscape. So for me complaining about the spark not being able to charge on there, the answer is for now I can use a car charger and charge my Spark or I could use a car charger and charge my Mavic Air when that product becomes available. So there's a lot of different ways to go about this. I just love the versatility of it. And if that's not enough and I kind of beat him up on the other models he's got there about not having an AC output, they now have an AC output on the back of this thing. So it's got a, a pure sine wave, which is a better version of an inverter built into this thing that'll give you a pure sine wave, 120 volt. 60 hertz out the back that you can charge conventional items. So even if I didn't have a car charger for something, I could bring along a regular home charger and charge it. So they've really thought this through from every different angle. And that's what I love so much about this company is that they're responsive, their engineers are smart, they're sitting down and thinking about the consumer, about me being out in the field, and what do I need to charge? And how can they enable me to charge more stuff? That Drone Max 360 looks like the perfect answer for me taking it out in the field. And I've used the A20 and the M10. I love these products. That 360 looks like sort of a marriage of these two with a bunch of other stuff built into it. So I can't wait to get my hands on it. When I do, expect me to do a full clip and give you my honest opinion about it. So that's pretty much it for now. I've got a lot more clips that we're going to do from the CES show that we went to. I just got backed up on a lot of other stuff, so expect a bunch of those clips coming out this week. But if you have any questions about the Drone Max 360, I think it releases the end of February, so hopefully I'll have it before the release and I can do a review and get it right out to you guys. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel at this point, 
hit the subscribe button and join us because I've got a ton of clips coming. Mavic Air, I'm talking about the new Mavic uh, Pro 2 that's coming out. I've got some suspicions about what that product might look like, as well as, well as a bunch of other topics that we're going to put clips together for. So I love putting these things together. You guys seem to enjoy them. And as long as you're giving me positive comments and you're finding value in them, we'll keep doing them. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, happy flying.